But here it is, the moment we've all been waiting for. I finally finished building the Lego Concord. Let's reveal it now. Yes, very hyped and very loved right here. You know, a few days ago, you might have seen it. I started a live stream of two hours where I really tried to build this plane and rather even finish it in that stream. I didn't make it. Yes, after two hours, I was only done with like, what is like half of the wing right here. This is an enormous plane. It took me, what is like eight hours in total. I might also be just a noob. Put that part off again. There we go. Yeah, that actually already, you could tell. You, you, you were to ask, you know, what plane is this? This is definitely a con. I'm not really, you know, that into Lego anymore, especially this adult Lego. Like, you know, this is like 18 plus according to the packaging. And I've kind of wondered like, what does that mean? Will they like check your ID while checking out or something? No, perhaps it's just that, you know, if you're below 18, you will take so long that you've already turned 18 by finishing the plane. You know, that's kind of their logic. Yes, everybody, there it is. Yes, definitely very unstable, this plane, like. Yes, this is an enormous, like, generally, like, a large little model right here. This is, like, what is that, a meter long. Massive, huge, and packed full of features. Let me take a bit of a close look from a plain guy's perspective. I have what $200 at the Lego store gives you. I've broken the end. Sorry. Yeah, you shouldn't forget. This is not just like a plain model. This is a proper Lego with like proper stability. But we'll check the stability later on. Maybe like a little bit of a durability test. So let me go into this. This plane, as you can see, has a little hole right here. You can put the stand in that, like that. This stand is rather nice. It has a little plague on it, which is cool. Did I say plague? I mean plaque. Designed and built in France and Great Britain by Sud Aviation and British Aircraft Corporation. First flight, March 1969. Cruise speed Mach 2, two times the speed of sound. I reckon the Lego plane won't be able to achieve that very much. Blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, even got like a model number on it, like over 10,000 of these have already been sold. So I think that's a bit disappointing. You know, the paint has kind of chipped off already in the packaging. I has brown elements on it, not too great. But what is described as great is the general model here, that is for sure. You know, Lego over the past years has been a little bit, you know, like they're known for having some controversial sets that are just mm, not really good, but they've really came back here nicely with this one, even though 200 bucks is really expensive. All right, let me go into the main feature of this plane, and that's what really takes you longest to build in total. And that is the landing gear, because you can put it out and in. Yes, it's retractable. Let's, let's maybe demonstrate that. You can see the beautiful underside of the plane, and you use this little tip right here, this cone here, to move it. There you go, like that. You can see, yeah, there you go. Front landing gear is already coming in. Nose landing gear, there we go. And also, the main landing gear is coming in. That was very, very smooth. Would you jump into that plane? Yes. I mean, obviously it doesn't have any cover for the landing gear, but this is incredibly beautiful. And that's how that works. Now we've got a landing gearless Concorde. Another thing that actually moves is of course, the snoot droop. You can see I've already put it out. And as you can already see nicely, the snoot generally droops. There we go, something like that here. If we then proceed to put the landing gear out, you've got like the whole set. Maybe, uh, there you go. Very smooth. Yeah, you can maybe do like a Concorde type landing and then you notice, oh no, there is a tail strike, but nothing to worry about here because of course the real Concorde is known for having its little tail landing gear right there, which also we have in this Lego set. Nice stuff. There we go. We can do a beautiful landing. That's always what I wanted to do. Yeah, you can even, yeah, you can roll it around a little bit here on this glass table. This genuinely works pretty well. Overall, pretty good. We've got lots of moving parts in general. Let's move, zoom in a little bit. Here you can see the ailerons and uh, elevators, which are, you know, incorporated in the very same wing. Something else we, of course, have here is like this dual rudder system right there. That's rather nice. Shit. This is Lego. Be, be brave. 
Be brave, little guy. Now, all these kind of features here are mentioned in this extensive manual, which is really large. This is like 300 pages. It's really nicely done though. You know, we have a proper, you know, description about the Concorde itself. Two nations, one vision, you know, very historic value here. And it's already where it starts. Uh, that's cool. But also while you're building, you learn quite a lot about the plane because they do some, you know, descriptions of why certain things are like they are, like the split rudder here. Concorde featured a split rudder with only the lower portion being uh, used at high speeds to allow for higher pressure. There's lots of uh, parts left, like replacement parts here. This is, this is what's left over. Nice little box here of replacement. That's really nice. That's pretty cool. Now, let's take a look at the engines that have just kept falling off. There I go like that. You can see it's, it's got its afterburners engaged after all this little Concorde. Really cool, you kinda, it's, it's not really, there's not really any fire coming out of it. I mean, you could kind of put like one of those birthday cake fountain thingies in there, light it up and stuff. It's probably not that good of an idea. All right, come on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah, that's Mach 2. Let's maybe continue this video, sorry. Yeah, it's overall pretty nice so far. Landing gear, snoop through, which um, even comes off. Yeah, but something we do generally have is a cabin. Let's, let me take a look at that. Here we can simply remove the cabin right there. Yeah, now you have a good inside of the cabin itself. Here we do actually have a lavatory facility. And you can really see how cramped this plane is. And I mean, we visited the real Concorde in real life. It's not much better, generally. Pretty much just like the Lego set. We do have like a dual lavatory, whatever that is. This is a little bit clunky here. But overall, pretty nice. We can put the seat back and forth because that's what they did in a real Concord. Overall, pretty well done. We've got a nice print here of these very small windows that the real Concord used to have. Something that does trigger a few OCD people, that's for sure, is this, everybody. You can see we've got this red stripe, which nicely, you know, fits along here. But something where the red stripe really is off is a little bit here is on this side pane. Doesn't get better on the other side either. Yeah, no, not great. I mean, you know, while this plane is relatively sturdy, it can kind of serve as a little bit of like a physics simulation. I guess something we can attempt to do is a little bit of a, maybe a drop test even, a hard landing simulation. Just see how the landing gear holds up to that. All right, let me drop it from here. That was pretty good. Uh, you can see the wing is already fracturing. What has this channel become? We're dropping Lego on a glass table. All right, three, two, one, now. Shoot. Yeah, you know, that generally took a little bit, like I said, a genuine amount of time. Also, I'm missing a little piece right there in the wing. You know, you really wouldn't want your Concorde, like, you know, fly off your table or something like that. Like, you wouldn't really want to have that happen. There it is, everybody. A beautiful set. I would recommend a buy if you've got the $200. If not, then no. This is after all Lego model, but definitely the best Lego model I've ever seen. This is amazing. One major drawback is its size. It's generally so big to the point where most people will be like, okay, where do I put this thing? Maybe I can put it here on this studio cupboard. You know what, that genuinely works. I think I'll just place it right here, but I think you guys should decide what should I do with this thing now. A lot of people have asked me, you know, I mean, $200 a lot. So maybe I shall give this away or maybe like throw it out of a window and have a slow motion video of that. You guys decide in the comments. But until then, thank you so, so much for watching this video about the new Concorde. Great plane. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. Now, thank you very much to my highly supporting members like Jamie Ashton, Mike C, James Duram, Ragings, Met RLG, Matt Van Z, Moritz, Bellhausen, Knotts Enthusiast, Shadow, New the York, Ryland Williams, Kelly Chaos, John O'Brien, and I'm addicted to Airbus A380s. Thank you.